Hello and welcome to a Dragon Pyramid tutorial. Now, uh, I've, I've took somebody's advice, I can't remember who it was, I do apologise, but they said if you're running out of ideas, just make a Final Cut Pro tutorial. So, I'm here uh, and I'm making Final Cut Pro happen-ish. Okay, so one thing I would like to talk about is um, is colour correction. Because um, I've, never, I've been on a, a lot of work experience, um, working with... Uh, it doesn't matter who I've been working with really, but basically um, I haven't really seen a professional video that hasn't had a colour correction put on it. Either it's very, 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 very subtle colour correction or very dramatic colour correction for a cinematic feel, whatever. It's always had a colour correction on to kind of change it from what it was to something a little bit different uh, to give it more atmosphere. So I have a clip here, here in the timeline. Um, if you notice, um, well, maybe you don't notice, but anyway, this is part of um, the Composer Bots that I've just recently finished, and it's on my YouTube account. Um, yes. So, yeah, sorry, I, I was zoning out there. It's just meh. But anyway, I've got this clip here from the Composer Bots, and I'd just uh, like to show you it without the colour correction. So, here it is. So, the guy's walking along, and he bumps into this dude. And there was some dramatic music. Boo boo. And he talks on the phone and he says that the composer bots are coming. Right. So that's that's a clip. It's okay. Um, the composition was great. Um, the camera guy was great. The sound guy was great. Everything was great. But um, if you look, uh, I think the shot looks a tad boring because it's just like normal colours. Do you know what I mean? Thereas, I'd just like to show you the colour corrected. Uh, version of this. Uh, where is it? Here somewhere. Uh, so he's come out the door, etc. And right, here it is. Uh, he's walking down the street, and you see it's got a nice bit of, bit of yellow. Oh, two seconds. My alarm is. How very annoying. Um, that was my alarm to wake up, but I'm already awake, so that's very annoying. Grr. Never again. Anyway, so the color corrected shot here. Um, nice and yellow etc um, maybe this is what you wouldn't necessarily pick um, but the director seemed to like it so we stuck with it and I'd just like to show you how to do it so here we go if you go straight into your effects um, in, in your like um, um, oh by the way always keep your footage well organized because this is not at all organized and I really do have problems finding what I want uh, it's not good um, anyway, so the color correction filters are in video filters, color correction, and I usually use the color corrector and RGB balanced um, kind of. Uh, this is to give it like a subtle change. I'll show you really. Um, I just drag it onto your clip, or um, you can double click the clip for it to appear in the left hand window. For some reason, when I'm capturing, I've got these random boxes. Um, right? So here's a clip here. Um, you can drag it from here onto the very left hand window uh, which is the clip and the right hand side is the timeline you should remember that and do that drop drag drop click on the filters tab and it's here so i'm going to click on visual and we should be able to see differences happen from here as i affect stuff in here so for example let's say we want it to be a nice kind of not too black and white but take out some of the color and uh, that's maybe a little bit too dramatic there we go a little bit of a uh, color missing to be honest it looks better already so if we look at this a little bit desaturated not so much color not so bright and we have a look back um, I think in my opinion it looks a little bit better already um, uh, you can you can play with the the blacks the midtones and the whites so the blacks for example are all the shadows and the dark colors in the image so for example if i bring that really far far up see the black bars on the top are becoming white this is like kind of bright in the image so to be honest you just want to be subtly taking it along say to about there um kind of thing but there's no set rule to be honest this is why i think this part is so much more of an art than editing and I, I'm not really that uh, arty. So anyway, the blacks are the dark colours in the image, the whites are the very light colours in the image. For example, this, this white sky here, I can bring it across to make it a little bit more blue. So you see everything in the image is starting to, to pick up on a little bit of blue and maybe boost it up just to um, so you take it down. 
maybe something like that, desaturate it a little more, I don't know, just play around with the settings, see what it like, and I mean that, I think that's an okay image, I mean it's not very cinematic and it's not the best thing, but if you take it off, um, tick, there we go, that's the image before, and put it back on, um, that's the image after, and in my opinion, it's just a little bit better, um, it's, it's more, it's, it's, what's it called, it's not so overexposed, and it's, it's nice on the eye type thing, but maybe, maybe you're an editor, and you're going, oh, he's talking bollocks, but, I don't know, this is how, just how I go about things, and I seem to do a, an okay job at things, so, sorry if I'm doing it all wrong, maybe you should leave a comment below, and tell me how to do it, anyway, so that's the, the three-way colour corrector. And the RGB balance, I think, is for more major... Um, well, maybe not so much major, but it's it's to, to concentrate on colours. So, for example, you can bring out more red um, in the highlights, uh, which is, like, kind of the the middle range, not black and not white. Um, sorry, no, the highlights are the whites, the the, um, the lighter colours, the mid-tones being the ones in the middle and the blacks being the dark colours etc so we can change our image to a slightly red if we take this from 0 to about 12 um, and maybe this to about 6 and you can see we're starting to get a very red type image because we're boosting the red or you can do the opposite and take out some of the blues and the greens uh, see we're getting a kind of an orange feel there um, I mean it really does need to be already um, planned out and thought about um, you can't really just sit down and kind of color correct ish it should be planned in my opinion anyway um, so yeah that's color correction in a nutshell um, you can play around with all the settings um, please don't be a bit confused remember if you just want to delete the, the filter you can click it and press backspace or delete and it shall disappear and it won't affect your footage remember also though that say you're, you're editing this shot oh great that's finished um, and then you move on to in the timeline to say like this shot here, right? And then you start fiddling with this. You think, oh, why is the why is the image not changing? An example. Uh, let's say we wanted really really high saturation because we wanted it to look crappy, and it's not changed. Why? 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 Why is it not changed? I'll tell you why. Because you need to double click the the um the clip that you're working with. So where this line is hovering over, you need to double click it to then bring it into the left hand window. There. So it like corresponds, do you know what I mean? Because uh, there's been so many times when I've just moved that to edit this, but because I haven't changed it here, I've been messing around with this shot rather than that shot, and it's kind of been like, oh, should really get out of that habit. So don't do that, don't do that. No, no, bad, bad YouTube user, bad, don't do it. So yeah, that's color correction in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please comment below. Um, I hope you don't go overboard with these. To be to be honest, subtle is better, but um, obviously you can be more artistic and creative in your own ways. Um, don't just listen to me and say, oh, he must be right because he, he makes videos. No, no, it doesn't make me right at all. But uh, yes, so um, mess around with the color corrector and I don't know, maybe you're a YouTube user who just likes um, to post vlogs or something. So why don't you just like kind of mess around with the colour correctors, etc. in the programs that you use and see what results you can get. Because um, if you look, um, uh, the difference in the shots is, is quite um, dramatic. Dramatic? Yeah, it's kind of a dramatic change, I think, and it can it can really make your video seem that little bit more professional. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you didn't have a good time, I do apologize, and I'll see you next time on a Dragon PME tutorial. And if I don't, then you must be a friend, and I must see you in the town or at university or sometime. And therefore, I didn't see you next time on the Dragon PME tutorial. I saw you next time, just you know, on the streets. Not like I just walk the streets randomly, but okay, I'm blabbering on now. So thank you very much for watching, and have a nice time, whatever you're doing. Um, whatever you, If you're eating, by the way, at the moment, do not spill it down your lovely white top. Because I did that the other day, and it wasn't nice, and I looked like a fool. But anyway, that's a different story. I'll see you next time on a Dragon Pyramid tutorial. Thank you very much.